What's going on guys? So today I got swole ass <laughs> Chauncey from what channel? From Shy Niche. So I've been retiring or hibernating whatever for a while, but what's going on everyone? So I'm actually here in Chicago right now, so we're like, so because I'm actually in town, I actually did reach out to Chauncey to see if he would be willing to meet up and to do a video. He said yes, thankfully. Unfortunately the background is not the best, but the weather sucks right now, we're in the windy city. And yes. the wind is kicking, so here we are. There we are. So today we're going to be doing a sample review from something Zegna because God, I can't even pronounce that. Imebna Jildo something from their <laughs> Elements of Man collection. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing talent. So I wore most of this and I actually spread it on Chance's arms about 10 to 15 minutes ago. So it had a little bit of time to develop. Now this fragrance was actually launched in 2017. It's class as a woody spicy because I only have a sample. Let's see the pictures of what the bottle looks like and then we're going to get this man's thoughts. Okay, so Chauncey, what do you get out of the scent? Is there any particular notes? Does it come across as something? Uh, honestly, the opening is very fresh. There's like a blast of bergamot to start off with in the beginning. Uh, also, when Chad initially sprayed my arm, it kind of smelled like Chanel Allure uh, Blanche Edition. So. Uh -huh. Kind of a creamy, citrusy vibe that I received at first, but now that it's starting to dry down, I kind of get a little more of the woodsy notes. However, the bergamot is still kind of shining bright right now. You like it? I do, but I don't know how long it will last on my skin. However, okay. all right, you know, just take well, a little sample. Around. So the notes to this now the top notes are Szechuan pepper, yuzu, and bergamot, with the mid being black tea, and the base is cedar and patchouli. All I get is. Spices, woods, and citrus. I can't even pinpoint the citrus itself. I can't even pinpoint the bergamot because this fragrance is, it's sweet, mm -hmm. it's playful. I get like a candy-like sweetness out of this one. Mm. So for me, it was very difficult to pinpoint the notes. Do I like it? That's a different topic and I love, <laughs> and I love Zeng. It's one of my favorite houses right now. What would you say that this is a uh, seasons was? What, what would you say? Honestly, on my skin right now, late spring or summer. Okay. Fragrance. For me, spring, uh, I think that this may be a little bit too sweet in summertime, hmm. unless they let that dry down, uh, the sweetness dry down a little bit. Usage. I can't. This could be a day scent though, man. For me, it's more of a fun scent, just because of that sweetness. It's like a going out fragrance. Sweet, playful, fun, flirty. That Pick, sort of bit. Going to a picnic or something like that, a little yeah. barbecue, that's really about it. it yeah. Exactly. For me, it comes across more as youthful than anything. Mm -hmm. so, Agreed. Longevity, six to seven hours projection off this was about an hour, even though it's just a sample, generally I can't gauge the, the projection, but this pretty much is a sweet bomb, so it does project pretty nicely for the first hour. The prices, now the prices for this on the official website is $220 American for a 50 ml. It's not that great, so never mind. <laughs> not it's, for this price. <laughs> it's no. definitely not worth the price. Again, I love Xenia, but this is definitely over overpriced. Wife's thoughts, she said she said it was sweet, fun, and youthful. Any final thoughts on this one? Uh, honestly, if you could find it maybe a discount, like online store, maybe um, get your nose on it or get like a sample or something like that, yeah. but it's not worth the retail value at all. Yeah. Like I said before, it kind of reminds me of Chanel Allure Blanche anyway, so okay. I have a bottle of that, so I don't need this. And just from that little spray, it, there's like a, a bit of a feminine touch to it, I find. I can see that. You know? If you're going to give it a rating out of five, what would you give it? Uh, I'll give it a three. And that's what I'm going to give it. So this scent, I like it, but it's a little bit too playful and a little bit too youthful to my liking, along with a little bit too sweet. So. Three out of five, six out of ten, is it worth the money? Uh, no. no. Definitely not. No and, bueno. And this is this guy is a Xenia fanboy. This one is a complete pass. Uh, their Elements of Man, some of the fragrances are fantastic, but this one was a no-go for me. So, any final words? Anyone else to say? Nope, just want to thank you, Chad, for allowing me to get uh, guest star on this glorious channel of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you for coming out. So, man, I, you know what? I thank you for coming out to, uh, just to see uh, to see us because I know it's uh, right now it's, fr uh, it's Friday, it's rush hour, and everybody just wants to get this weekend started. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's I really right. do appreciate. It. So no thank problem. you very much, pal. No problem. Thank you. All right, guys. So that is our final take of Zenya. Imerna Jindo Zenya. Good job. Tan, hey, thank you. Hey, I got some tan a little bit. So definitely not a serious review, guys. So I uh, thank you for your time. Take care. Oh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll attach 
Uh, Chauncey's uh, YouTube channel, even though he, like, he's kind of like retired or hibernating. Hibernating. Just in case you wish to check him out, I'll do so. So guys, thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Peace. So today we're going to be doing a sample review from the Edmund... Edmund that she'll do. So today we're actually going to be doing a sample review from the Edmund, Edmund Gildo Zenia. Man, I, I keep trying to get that one. I just keep I'm screwing it up. I'm going to my head. Yep, that so one. So it's from their luxury <laughs> line. The Edmund... Are you recording already? Yeah, he's a oh, swole. Whatever. He's a swole motherfucker. <laughs>